parameter estimation problem in a bounded error context amounts to solving a set inversion problem. I have my real system and my model. Assume that on my actual system, I'm able to collect three measurements. Because of the sampling time, I am not able to measure all the signal. So for instance, at time t1, I measure this point. At time t2, I measure another point. At time t3, this is my data. Because of, uh, the, uh, because of the noise, I am able to compute intervals, to get intervals, which enclose all the, the unknown feasible output that should have been measured if no errors are, uh, exist. In my model, I have here P1 and P2. And if I take here a feasible parameter vector, then the corresponding trajectory will cross all my points. If I take an unfeasible trajectory, then at least at least one of the bar is not crossed. My simulator will, be, uh, will make it possible to compute from P1 and P2 the three output corresponding to T1, T2, T3. Here, since my model is y of t equal p1 a2 t, my simulator is a function f which takes p1 and p2 as input and will return the three outputs p1 exponential minus p2 times e1, p1 exponential to P2 is the same for P3. This function f can be represented as a function f which maps the parameter space into the output space. So the space is like this y1, y2, y3. The intervals here correspond to some intervals here, y1, y1, y2, y2, and here the last one, y3, y3. The Cartesian product of the three interval corresponds to one box y, which is included in R3, and the feasible parameter vector corresponds to the set of all p that are mapped via this simulator function inside this box. So my feasible parameter vector corresponds to the inverse of the box y by the simulator function f. As a consequence, in a bounded error context, parameter estimation problem is a set inversion problem.